down. You have an idea. Good morning. Good morning. I do. I right. do, I do, I do, I do, I do. I do, I do, I do, I do. Hold on. Happy Monday, by the way. Hi, guys. How are you? President's Day. Who's not working? That's what we want to know. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate the applause. <laughs> All right, so uh, it being President's Day, schools are out. So a lot of moms got kids in school. Either you're scrambling to find daycare for them or someplace to stay, or you're staying home with them. One or the other, right? All right, that just popped up on your screen. <laughs> Help us find Bob a place to live. Such a weird time in history uh, coming out of COVID. Right. And uh, the, the rise in real estate prices. prices. Right. The influx of people to our community, number one, that are visitors, that was really only upstream. Right. For Dare County. Right. Uh, along the Outer Banks, where our studios are. And then um, the fact that a lot of people that were, that owned homes mm -hmm. and providing long term rentals for people that weren't ready to get in the housing market yet for whatever reason, right. They were happy to rent. Uh, and this is sort of a transient place from time to time. So there was a there's a lot of those type of situations here. And it's not a lot of apartments. They're all houses. A lot of them. Right. Um, especially for families. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those long term rentals were turned into Airbnb. Right, because you could make more money or in the uh, short or term. Weekly rentals. Right. Or you could make more money that way than you could renting yeah. long term. So that's left a lot of people. Instead of two thousand dollars a month, you can make two thousand dollars a week. Amen. Yeah. Why wouldn't you, right? So that's left a lot of people in our community sort of hurting without a place to go, uh, very easily. It takes longer to find a, a long-term rental here than it ever has. So the funny part is, you know, it's uh, it's affecting businesses, the ability to hire people, right? Especially if you're going to bring somebody from outside of Dare County. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. to this community uh, it's a big issue which is and what we just did we have we've grown a uh, part of our staff here at east carolina radio and east carolina television uh, to include um, a new sales guy his name is bob and he's got a family and they do not live here yeah bob does bob's working here all week and going home on the weekend while at the same time trying to find a place to live here he has a daughter who's getting ready to graduate high school uh, and a wife. Family guy. Stand up family guy. Heavily involved in the communities that he's lived in. And wants to spend time living on the outer banks. He wants to be a part mm -hmm. of this community. Dare County. He really wants to. He does. And we'd like to have him. We'd like to have him uh, happy with a roof over his head. So what we've done is uh, we put the all call out the way that we know how. Which was the power of radio. You our listeners. Now that's stealing a little bit from you. We we know that we don't ask for things very often for you. No. But when we do, we feel like it's important. And this one we think is important for our company uh, to be able to grow like it should. Right. Um, with qualified people that want to do the job. And he's looking for a place to rent. Yeah. Anywhere from Manio all the way up to Southern Shores. Yeah. Basically there. And he doesn't want to kind of leave the bridge, you know, go on well, the other side of the bridges. Yeah. Beggars can't be choosers sometimes. So right. there's other opportunities that are out there. Um, that's fine too. I think he would entertain them on a one by one basis. He's just looking for some leads. Yes. Uh, so three bedroom, two bath home is what he would like to. to, to and he wants to rent. Probably. He wants yeah. to rent right now. Yeah. Um, so obviously, you know, a year rent rental maybe more yeah until he figures out where exactly he wants to live what area right. and really gets to know the area and then that way he'll settle down and buy a house so we've set up a go house me campaign <laughs> for bob the sales guy and we need your help yes so if you know of somebody maybe you've got some friends that uh you know they've, they've talked casual like you know what i think we're gonna get this place. i think we're gonna rent it out uh but we haven't they haven't done it yet right or, or whatever it is. maybe you know somebody that is renting a house or re does have a rental right now that 
the current tenants are moving out in a month yeah. and they need to re-rent it. Um, yeah. anything, you know, something like that. Or maybe if they're even moving out in two months yeah. and they need to, you know, I mean, at this point, if he has to wait another month and a half, you know, he waits another month and a half. Right. But that's what we're trying to do. So we're looking to help Bob. We like Bob a lot. That's why we hired. That's why we went into this uh, in a unique partnership, so to speak, an understanding that he needs a place to live. Mm -hmm. And we we need an employee right. that can do the job that we want him to do. Uh, and to be able to do that, he's got to be happy. He's got to be local. And he can't uh, continue to commute. So if you know somebody or a situation that uh, other people don't know of or something that's coming up, mm -hmm. that's what we're looking for. Exactly. Uh, and we trust that you trust us uh, when we put Bob's name out there. That, uh, that Bob's a good guy. Okay? Bob's really nice. Bob really will good check guy. out very positively. There will be no issues with that no. or anything like that. So uh, we... We thank you for understanding that. Uh, but it took a little bit for us to decide to come out here and do this. But we want to help Bob find a place to live. So yes. that's what we're doing this morning. Okay? We do. So if you know of anybody, that is you. Email. If you do, email. It's mm -hmm. Cindy, C I N D Y, yeah. at ECRI.net, which is East Carolina Radio Inc., mm -hmm. so to speak, or Bill, B I L L, at ECRI.net. And just say, hey. Friend of mine, yeah, they have this house, three bedrooms, two baths. I mean, it's a tough situation. I mean, it is. There it's... are, just to let you know, there are situations that I know you guys have heard of them, uh, teachers and their families. Right. Uh, people that work uh, in the hospital, in the healthcare system. Right. Uh, that are pretty important parts of our community have lost the rentals that they had. Yes. And they're having a hard time trying to find others. So, this is it's rather unique. We appreciate you taking the time to listen. Um, it's just, you know, we're at the point where we're like, you know what? We really want Bob to find a place. So, we're we going to put it out there. And we know that somewhere, uh, there's a place meant for Bob and his family. There is. That's what we think. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have faith in that. So, but you got to do everything you can do. You know, you can't just say, oh, he'll find a place. We're going to help him find a place. Right. Okay? Exactly. That's what we're doing. We're helping by it, asking you guys. Exactly. What he said. Like I'm doing a telephone or something. You are. Radio pod. It's like such, you know. All right. But it's, it's the, the premise is still the same. Somebody needs some help. So we're trying to help Bob out. And, uh, if you know somebody, you can even comment here if you're watching the live stream later today. And it doesn't Or message be, us. You can yeah. message us on Facebook yeah. and send us something. You, you may live in Edenton or Ahoski, but you know somebody that's got a home here uh, that owns one. Somebody in your neighborhood. And they've been thinking about, I don't know what to do with the place. It'll go over there as much as we used to, yada, yada, yada. Whatever. Right. Um, let us know. Yeah. Tell them about Bob. Okay. What about Bob? Yeah, what about Bob? <laughs> All right. So we've got um, a couple of things going on here. I figure out where we are. This is funny. This might have been over the golf tournament this, summer, this, uh, this weekend. Oh, yeah? The Goodyear blimp. Don't shoot. He's looking at something. I'm going to get Sorry. I don't know what he's doing. Mm -hmm. All right, so you, obviously you can see that one. This is one something Bill found over the weekend. He also found this one. Did you know that she is turning, or she turned 55 over the weekend? 55 years old. That Molly was Ringwald. Molly Ringwald. That's believe crazy. Can you believe that? I mean, she 50, looks pretty good. 55. 55. She was in um something. Uh, uh, shoot. I watched the show, and she played the mother in it. Right. Not too long ago. Um, all right, then there's... Yeah, here. All right, if Perrin is watching, I thought of this. Ah, first off. All right, this is an actual picture. <laughs> if Perrin is watching. Of an Italian being forced to watch the first time pineapple was added to a pizza <laughs> in Brooklyn, New York in 1924. And Gary has added the blimp that we just showed a picture of. Right. Uh, is stationed in Akron, Ohio. Cool. That oh, there's a bunch of different blimps though. Well, there are. Yeah, there's there I are. know there's one in um, like Pompano B or just north in Boca mm -hmm. Raton. I think there's one. There's a Goodyear blimp. You know, and there's, there's a place out on the outskirts of Elizabeth City that makes blimps. It's a blimp factory. 
a casual Friday I with Matthew saw, McConaughey. You know, Mrs. Thomas likes Matthew McConaughey a lot, uh-huh. and uh, she mentioned this casual Friday, and I thought, well, you know, maybe there's some other people that appreciate old Matthew. And How might cool like is to that? See him at his desk. That's just kind of casual. Working hard. Yeah, on the phone, doing his thing. Yeah, this is all he can do. Um, ah, having an empty laundry basket is the best five seconds of the week. <laughs> That's about Who's right. got that as truth, right? Yep. Absolutely. Aaron says that he has nice legs. Oh, no, this this is uh, something that could happen to you guys in the future if you're not careful. I accidentally wore a red shirt to Target today. And long story short, I'm now covering for Debbie this weekend. Red shirt and khakis, just like Jake from State Farm. Classic. Yep, that's their uniform. All right, we'll be back with a few more of these. Oh. Uh, one more. I just, why not, right? Only Willie can look perfectly normal in this situation. <laughs> Is that true or what? Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, man. He does All right, like that, hang man. on. We'll talk a little bit more about Bob, and we're back with you guys. Yep, 16 kilos. <clears throat> Your station for the killer hits, 102.5, the Shark Prince, and the Revolution, and Raspberry Beret. Good morning to you, A12. Bill and Cindy with you, the morning killer hits all day, and uh, time for some cloud cover today. Maybe a chance of some showers. There's more spring-like temperatures this week yeah. uh, than there were last week. And it's about time. Yeah. Mostly cloudy today, slight chance of late afternoon showers, 64. Cloudy, breezy tonight, chance of showers in 52. And then tomorrow becoming sunny. Still kind of breezy, high 66 along the coast and 75 inland. Right now we got uh, 53 in Wilson City, 54 in Collington, and 55 at 102.5. So let's talk about Bob. All right. Bob is our new sales guy here at yes. East Carolina Radio and East Carolina Television. Uh, he's been with us about a month. Mm-hmm. Uh, he lives here during the week and he works. He sells. He might have met him. He uh, may have. Possibly in Dare County. He's been knocking on doors, making appointments with people, saying, Hey, I'm. Bob, the new sales guy with East Carolina Radio. Hi, I'm Bob. Exactly. Hi, I'm Bob. Hi, I'm Bob. Well, you know what? Bob's got a family. Bob does have a family. A wife and a daughter. And he'd like to move them here. And we'd like to move them here. And we'd like to see him be able to find a place. But as we all know, in their county right now, it can be extra tough to do just that. Quite a maneuver. Right. It is. Really. I mean, it is insane. Uh, the housing situation that we have in Dare County is as tight as it is. It's crazy. So we figured we would use the power that we have as a company uh-huh. and what we do and ask of you a little bit of your time to think for us and try to help us out. Uh, we're doing a Go House Me campaign for Bob. Bob the sales guy there. needs a three bedroom, two bath house that he can rent. And that way he can bring his family here with him instead of leaving them. Absolutely. Elsewhere in North Carolina, out of the out of the area. If you're looking to rent, that's what Cindy just said. Mm-hmm. And if maybe maybe you know somebody, I don't know, in your neighborhood, uh, that's thinking about renting a place that has it, right? And they're like, you know what, I'm going to do that before the spring hits or whatever. Uh, we like to know about that. Yes, we, we really would. would, and we would appreciate the lead, and we value that and your time very much by asking you to do that because you know we don't ask for things very often here. We're usually giving. Mm-hmm. All the time, mm-hmm. uh, prizes, and killer hits, and mm-hmm. all kinds of good stuff. Uh, but every now and again, we use the power of our radio station to get the word out to help people, and we, we're going to help one of our own this time. So, if you know a situation that uh, we would consider a lead, thank you. We're looking for Dare County, between the bridges, and maybe you're on a company. Yes, three bedroom, two bath, preferably. Uh, let us know. You can email me, Bill, at ecri.net. You can email me, Cindy, at ecri.net. And we'll get the ball rolling. You can also message us on Facebook mm-hmm. if you'd like. Um, you could even call us if you know of a, of a yeah. lead. And, you know, even if, you, if you've listened to Eaton Center Gates or Rahasky this morning, you might know of a situation, too, on the other bank. So think, you know, rock your brain a little bit. Uh-huh. Remember a conversation and know that there are people that I think are legitimately trying to put a roof back over their head. One, right. uh, continue to work and maintain a family here on the Outer Banks that live in this community. And right now it's just a little tough. It so is. Help Bob out. Go house Bob. That's what we're looking for. What about what Bob? Bob? Yeah, what about Bob? What about what Bob? Got? Bob is? Stick around. We got today a <laughs> music on the way and bow time. Somebody's going to have a winner, winner, chicken dinner coming their way. 
Good morning, Victoria. And it's going up to 50 plus in Ohio. Wow. That's pretty cool. Oh, and I got your, oh wait, look, this is, remember on Friday, I need to show you this real quick before we continue on, um, how Gary said over the weekend he was doing this. Yes. Cool. Ta-da. What was he doing? What do you got? Look. Nice, Gary. Good job. No procrastination. <clears throat> he actually got it done. And look, cool. the clock is still up that he put up there after two years. Mm. He didn't take that do down. They, do those plug in? They look pretty modern. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll see a crank anywhere <laughs> All right, where do we leave off? We let, here's one. I'm not sure what this is. All right, <laughs> yeah. so this is probably yeah, true. Yeah, I think to a certain extent that if there would be a situation with some family, they stumbled upon one of these, and there they are, the two girls. Like, well, two guys. Oh my gosh, look at that! What look is it? Picture. It's oh like gosh, the rotary they, phone. Maybe take a selfie with it. <laughs> Put it all over social media. It's like the rotary phone. They, it's just they don't know how to use kids, them. But, yep. uh, you know what? There's a few of them still out there. All right, every day I come home, my dog runs at me like, we're finally going to nail that lift from the scene from Dirty Dancing. You have a dog like that? Yep. And that even if you've only... Me. I don't know if I can handle that. Even one. if you've only walked outside for like five minutes and come back, it's like yep. you've been gone for hours. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Good morning, Karen. Uh, oh, what, which one? Am I? Oh, I think that was it, by the way. It was all of them? Uh-huh. That was all of them. All right, a few good ones for this, for this week. All right, find me a house in Manio to buy, and I'll rent it to Bob. <laughs> hey. Gary, that's off a big heart of everybody. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's, it's tough here for some folks. Because he, he, I, I think he would be okay with buying right now. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, good morning, Jim. The thing is, he's not exactly sure where he wants to live. And then, of course, also, if you go through the whole mortgage thing and all that yeah. garbage, he's only been working here for a month. I mean, yeah, he, he was we'll employed previously. He resigned from his, you know, gave his two week notice or whatever, gave his one month notice. I don't right, know how, right. and, you know, he was employed before he started this job, but he, he wanted to relocate. So that's what he so did. Hopefully we can help Bob out. Thank you guys for even listening to this. Considering yeah. this morning. We appreciate that. Um, but we felt that at this point, uh, Bob needed a little help and he's been working hard, man, for us and for himself trying to find a place. At the same yeah. time. That's quite a juggling act. It is. It really is. Especially because he has to put up with us every day. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> That's a, he had no idea. What he had no there. idea. No, no, he didn't. No idea, man. No, he like, didn't. Oh, my God. What oh. my <laughs> um, So what did you guys get into this weekend? Did you watch the Daytona 500? I didn't watch any of it myself, but I thought about you because I knew you'd be watching. Yeah. I did look at the top 14, and I think only Hamlin was in there. Denny, I recognize that name. Denny nice. Hamlin. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Martin Truex Jr. Martin Truex Jr. Was in his top 15. Right. Season. Probably. All of the other guys. Kyle Busch. I didn't recognize their names. There's a lot of them it's that have moved up this year that are new. It's been a while since I've watched NASCAR. It just happened. You know, my oldest son was in the NASCAR right. when he was growing up. He was Jeff Gordon. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to do that. Man, you know what? I want to tell you took my son to a NASCAR race in Richmond. Uh-huh. Got what I thought was decent seats. And you know what happened? He was a Jeff Gordon. And the people sitting in front of us, every time Worked. he came around, you know, it's an old track. Go fast, turn left. Go fast, turn yeah, left. Yeah, yeah. He's coming around, and they gave him the finger every single lap. Oh, no. And Right in front of my son. And I was like, guys, come on. Well, first of all, he's going at uh, laundry yesterday and cooked all weekend. Okay, so wait, hold on. Victoria said, look under houses for rent, Dare County rental source. I will have to check on all that. All right, thank you for that lead. We appreciate that. Oh, well, thank you for, and Jim, good morning all. Long time listener, but first time to post. Well, all thank right, you. Cool. And Perrin did laundry yesterday and cooked all weekend. Oh, that means there's food. What time's lunch? I slept all weekend. <laughs> Well, I was going to do laundry. Was fighting cold. I think I still am. Um, it, our, it started last yeah, week. Our buddy Ray, who does the afternoon show here, and does a morning show on another station, mm -hmm. um, he had the worst head cold that I've seen in a uh -huh. while. And I think um, it's... Yeah, so it might be going around. Mm -hmm. that, I mean, all I wanted to do all weekend was sleep. All I wanted to do. I, to... I mean, sleep. And I slept. I was probably sleeping like 16 hours each day. 
I mean, I was sleeping. Well, maybe I you could... just barely stayed ahead of the cold part of it. I, mean, I don't know. It's you, still you stuffed up a little bit. I'm but... still a little. Uh, but you, yeah, you, I don't it know. It wasn't like running water, you know. No, no. Well, that's good. No, not yet. Yeah, I might have to. Let me but anyway, see. the NASCAR thing. I, was, I thought of you, and then I looked at the list of who won. And I was like, man, I just haven't been keeping up with it, obviously. No, there's a lot of new guys yeah. that have come up from the Xfinity series, which is basically like right. I call the Little League series of it, but it's not. Um, now, what's the ARCA series? ARCA is a. It's very similar to NASCAR, it but it's. Oh, it's the same. It, okay. I mean, they just have their cars are a little bit different, yeah. but it's very similar to NASCAR. It's just a different. It's kind of like the um, NFL and the um, American Football League. Okay. It's Two the same. Totally it's the same game, but it's you know different, same. Different. But different. It's a different league. Yeah, it's a different. Yeah. I heard over the weekend that the child actor Frankie Muniz. Well, Frankie Muniz. Okay. He, I, he was in um. Malcolm in the Middle. That's it. Mm-hmm. He's been hired to drive an ARCA car. And he came in 11th place in his first race. Really? His first, yeah. The race he got to actually race in as the, as the driver. Oh, wow. Which is kind of cool. Okay. Uh-oh. All right. Perrin says, I have a 21 year old out me out of house and home. And then Jim said, would like your opinion on cheating spouses. Ooh. Okay. That's kind of tough. All right. Want your opinion on cheating spouses? Yes. I personally feel we should that people, if you're going to cheat, you should just break it off with somebody. Absolutely. And so break it off with Bethy's some. Oh, brought, uh, she brought nutritious food. Food. Nutritious food right. for once. <laughs> Not a biscuit. Thank you, Bethy. You <laughs> Thank you. To say hi. You have to make your face. Good morning. There you go. Dead mother. Good to see you. Happy Monday. We got an orange. Nice. It smells good. Thank you. Green. It's cold. Thank you. Yeah. Um. All right, cheating spouses. My personal opinion on cheating spouses. Well, um, well, number one, it's legitimate grounds for not being with that person. Anymore. Right, and yep. personally, if you're if you're gonna cheat, you should call it off so you don't have to cheat on somebody. Just break it off because it's not fair to that person. Um, secondly, um, we have to do a little thing right. here real quick. We're gonna we're have to come back to this. this. Jim, hang on. We have to do this music. We're gonna talk about the day of music, though. Yes. We'll be right back with you. Okay. Hold that thought. <clears throat> Your station for the Keller Hits 102.5, The Shark with David Bowie and Modern Love. Good morning to you. It is 8:23, middle of Sydney in the morning. Keller Hits all day. The shark forecast looking pretty good. Mostly cloudy, slight chance of late afternoon showers, but warmer than we have. 64. Cloudy, breezy tonight. Chance of showers continuing in 52. And then tomorrow. Sunny, breezy, 66 along the coast, and 75 inland. All right, now we got 53 in Grandy, 52 in Ahoski, and 54 at 102.5 The Shark. And it's time for this day in music history, brought to you by Tap That OBX. Open until 9 p.m. with your favorite beers, bourbons, and tequilas, free pool, foosball, and shuffleboard. Come hang out and relax with friends in their new laid-back space in Kitty Hawk. Tap That OBX. All right, it was 2016, a lock of John Lennon's hair. Sold for thirty-five thousand dollars in an auction in Dallas. Wait, a lock of his hair? Yeah, it, it had been clipped fifty years earlier, oh, no back in nineteen sixty-seven, for uh, Lennon's appearance in the movie, the film "How I Won the War." Have you ever seen him in the I army? I have outfit? not. Oh, well, yeah, I've seen him in the army. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, that was the film. Fifty, uh, thirty-five thousand dollars for fifty-year-old lock of hair. Hard to believe. Uh, 2008, a 1976 Rolling Stones album bought for two pounds at a car trunk sale in London sold for four thousand pounds in a years later. And uh, the black and blue LP was uh, signed by John Lennon, Yoko Ono, Paul and Linda McCartney, and George Harrison. As other members of the Rolling Stones also had their autographs on there as well. So quite wow, quite the piece of memorabilia no about no doubt about. The seller obtained the album after haggling the cost down from three pounds. <laughs> so he got time. it for two pounds. Yeah, quite yeah, so the property. And made 4,000. Wow. In 2003, in West Warwick, Rhode Island, 99 people were killed when fire destroyed the nightclub the station. The fire started with sparks from the pyrotechnical display that Great White used. Ty Longley, the guitarist for Great White, was one of the victims in the fire. I, I remember, remember that. I do, too. It was quite a shock. It was. That was 20 years ago, though. Wow. wow. In 1996, singer Barry Manilow was involved in a five-car pileup in Los Angeles. I don't know if I remember that or not. In 1992, singer Paula Abdul 
and actor Emilio Estevez announced their engagement. It was their first marriage for both of them. In 1991, Bob Dylan was awarded a Lifetime Achievement Award at the 33rd Annual Grammy Award. In 1976, four sets of KISS footprints were placed in the sidewalk just outside of Brahmin's Chinese Theater in Hollywood. And in 1974, Cher and Bono filed suit against, or Cher Bono, I should say, filed suit against... No, 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 no. It's Bono. Sonny Bono. Sonny Bono. Sorry. Bono. <laughs> Bono. It is Bono. I don't know why. I was That's just it. thinking you two, Bono. No, no. Um, but Cher Bono filed suit against Sonny Bono, asking for a marriage separation. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, Cher Bono, what? <laughs> I got myself confused. It's Monday. That's all right. That's the day of music. But right now, it is bow time. Your chance to win a winner, winner, two-piece chicken dinner from Bojangles. And your keyword is hair. Hair. Text hair. it right now. H-A-I-R, as in the lock of hair that came off of John Lennon's oh, head. That's right. Text it to 252-441-1025. All right. News about them together within 10. More killer hits straight ahead. All right. Anybody else have an opinion on it? Well, also, um, but cheating spouses. There's a reason people people always say, well, you know, our marriage went to because you cheated. Well, no, there's a reason why they're cheating in the first place. So, one, you got to kind of get to the bottom of that. Yeah. But I think cheating is wrong. If you're going to cheat on somebody, then you should not be with that original person. Yeah. And if, it, and if it's okay, why even have a marriage license? Right. And yes. But it's not okay. No, it's not okay. Especially My if you're legally married. Right. You have committed to that person. Even if you're not legally married, even if yeah. you're only, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend. Right. If you're in a committed relationship and you are only seeing that person or only paying, you know, being intimate, romantic, whatever you want to call it, with that person, yeah. then that's that. Per that's the only one you should be doing that with. I think it's cut and dry, you know, and I don't know which end of the stick you're on there or if you just have a situation you know about. Um, it's not a pleasant situation. No. For either side. No, it's not. Not that, you know, one deserves a better situation than the other or, or whatever, but um, I don't know. You know, I, that's something I, I would never do. I wouldn't that's, either. That's just my conviction. So, anyway. Um, parents says, I have a 20 year old, 21 year old that eats me out of house and home. Okay. I have a 23 and a 30 year old do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. So Gary said this Sunday, meet my wife and I at Holy Trinity at 11 AM. We are leaving Thursday. As far as cheating, my wife says I'm happy and I believe her. Well, there you go. That's what you do. You yep. trust. But if the cheating is happening, there's a reason why, like right. I said, yep. Marriages don't go south because somebody cheats. Somebody um, cheats because one, the marriage is already going south. Note, if there's a if there's an attempt or a possibility of reconciliation, right? Um, I believe that there should no longer be any contact ever with the other party that was involved. In the case. Absolutely. And if there's a workplace person, I think that maybe you find a new job, or that, or your other person finds a new job. Things like that need to be done. That's just my opinion. I'm right. not a counselor. And it's going to be difficult. Yeah. The trust issue is going to be out the window, and they're going to have to regain your trust or yeah. whatever. Yeah, if there's kids involved, it's even worse. Yeah. It really is. It's just bad. I know people are people. We're all human. But sometimes, you know, like I said, yeah. if there is just a situation because, like I said, marriages go bad, not because somebody mm -hmm. cheats, but somebody cheats because the marriage is already going bad. Right. Um, but if there's a way to make that marriage good again counseling you know just taking time to really yeah. focus on the marriage it's going to take time to rebuild it obviously right. but if it's if it's there and if it's worth it to you then 100 percent go for it okay. but just you know you know do it once whatever fool me whatever what's the the phrase right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Fool me once. shame on me yeah fool shame me. on you yeah. Fool me. yeah shame on me okay. so I right, look, that, that, this just goes to show you that we, we will talk uh, to a point about any subject that you guys uh, want to talk about, including uh -huh. things like this. So. See, Gary got that he and his wife got married at 18 and 19, and they've well, gone through a lot, but never a doubt. Uh, see, my parents were married at eight, 19 and 21. Right. All right, so. do us a favor before we leave. Remember our situation with Bob the sales guy. Yes. Uh, rem remind yourself of that as you run into people. You might run into real estate agents today. 
rental management people or people that are homeowners, um, yeah, remind them and uh, get get their email address or get get the situation. Uh, send us a link if you've got it. Right. It's not like we are unable to get online and look. Well, so, Victoria said, look under houses for rent, Dare yeah. County Rental Source. I am going to do that. Yep. All right. 100%. We greatly appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And yes. Jim, we hope we wish you luck and uh, hope we help some. I don't right. know. but. Right. And parent, I don't know what to tell you except maybe to lock the fridge. <laughs> you get a padlock. Yeah, exactly. Budget cords will do for a while. The pantry. Yeah. The same thing. <laughs> a lot of celery and peanut butter might work. I don't know. All right, guys. Have a good Be one. Good. Happy President's Day. Yeah, happy President's Day. Talk to you on Tuesday. We will have whooped Monday's butt. Really? Is that what I got to do? Okay, yeah. All right. Whatever. You be Bye, good guys. Too. If you can't Thanks. be good, be good at it. Have a great day, all of you.